Growth of local currency bond markets are opening up new avenues of financing in Asia. Though this growth is welcomed by most governments, it is also leading to talk of a bond bubble, driven also by the worldwide search for yield. The relative stability of interest rates could lead to a certain complacency in interest rate risk management. Rates are at historic lows in most countries, and this is not going to last forever. Use of market risk management tools such as interest rate swaps is undergoing significant change. Banks are now required to post collateral. This in turn is putting increased pressure on counterparties to post collateral in turn. Most corporates will be excluded, but banks will have to reflect this cost in pricing. Non-financial corporates are exploring the use of futures markets instead of the usual OTC offerings of banks. Foreign exchange risk management is increasingly turning to electronic execution. FX All and FX Connect for real money are examples of these platforms. However, this does not change the fact that companies have to understand their FX risks before they move to what tools to use. And finally, active credit risk management, which did get a bad name in the wake of the London Whale incident, nevertheless remains an important ALM tool and treasury management tool for firm-wide credit risk exposure management and concentrations. So these are a few of the key items that are the focus of treasury management today.